Hello, I hope you are doing well. Why don't we talk about the C++ game engine I've been making along with my YouTube series for almost a year now in my free time. I will play Lineage 2 in the background, we'll get to the reason why I'm playing it later. Anyway, the engine originally started as a self-learning project and I thought I would play around for a bit, maybe learn something new, and then get bored. I was wrong. I really enjoyed learning new stuff related to game development and software development in general, hence I want to continue the project. But the project needs serious planning now. The scope of the project is getting larger, and I do not want it to become a tangled mess of spaghetti. I need to come up with some sort of a plan to resolve the current problems and also create a plan for the future features. What are these problems you speak of, you may ask? And I would answer, the whole project is a problem since nothing is set up properly, but that is not very informative. The main issue is that the project does not have a proper build system. I recently watched a video from Cherno where he talks about build systems and architecture for C++ projects. His video goes into a lot more detail, so be sure to check it out if you are interested. I will link it in the description. Anyway, let's look at our current project structure and build system, starting with the structure. All of our code is contained within a single Visual Studio project, and the reason why this is not a good idea is simple. Let's say I wanted to build an application, a game for example. I have no way to exclude the code that is not used, aka the editor code. The game does not need the editor code to run, but it would be included in the game. The common way to separate code in game engines would be like this. First, we need to have code that is responsible for the most basic functions of the engine, like creating the window, changing the window size, holding the resources required to use the graphics APIs, it should also hold things like the entity component system code, since our editor and likely all applications built with our engine will also be running it. This part of the engine is necessary not only for the editor, but for any application built with it, and is commonly known as the core of the application. Let's call it the engine core for now. The core is more like an API than an actual application, by itself it's just an empty shell. The other part of the engine is the editor. The editor uses the core, but is not a part of it. It's easiest to think of the editor as a game to build other games. Any game we build is also a separate project that uses some parts of the core, just like the editor. Making the separation is very important because we do not want to include unused code into an application. With a large enough code base, this would impact the size and the performance of the application. Also, it is logical in a sense that the code would be easier to debug because we know that only specific parts can be responsible for some issues. So how would we do that? Of course, we could still use Visual Studio, create some separate projects, and set the core as a dependency for the editor. But it is not common practice to do this for large projects. Also, Visual Studio is an application built primarily for Windows, and I already have plans to make the engine cross-platform. Instead of relying on Visual Studio to build our project, we are going to make our own build system. There are many solutions we could use, but I currently stand between a choice of using CMake or PreMake. I will make the actual choice once I start working on this problem. For starters, we will need to replicate what Visual Studio does and make the separation between core and the editor code. Now that we got the most complex and boring part out of the way, let's finally talk about some fun things and let's get back to the reason why I'm playing Lineage 2. First, because I'm lazy and I didn't want to make animations. The other reason is that once the whole build system conundrum is resolved, I want to start implementing some serious features. And what a better way to take inspiration than looking into a game that has been released more than 20 years ago. I enjoyed playing Lineage 2 when I was younger a lot and it has a nice relaxing atmosphere to it. So, I will use it as an example project to identify features we will definitely need in our own game engine. I will be listing the features in no specific order, have in mind that this is only for identifying the function of the features and not how the features would look in our own game engine. For example, if we say we need a terrain, it does not mean that we have to replicate what has been done in this game. For each feature, we would look into their modern counterparts later and try to dig up some code we could use for learning and implementing the feature or even a better version of the feature ourselves. Ok, enough mumbo jumbo, let's start. First, we definitely need an in-game, pretty UI. Fortunately for us, IMGUI is already enough for this and we would only need to introduce a new layer 
to simplify creating its elements in a user-written script. Second, a scripting system that allows users to write their own code, but more than that, that allows them to take advantage of the core functionality, such as game loops, physics, sound, etc. This would be equivalent of mono behavior in Unity or actor class in Unreal Engine. Third, we need sound. We need to be able to loop sounds, play sounds once, maybe even look into 3D audio solutions later along the line. Fourth, a physics system. It is worth considering adding existing libraries like PhysX or Bullet Physics, since things like physics are often based on scientific research and mathematics, both of which I'm not good at. Fifth, terrain that allows us to create a landscape, place trees, grass and other objects. It may also be worth considering some sort of a 3D terrain solution, like a voxel terrain. Sixth, support for client and server-side projects for applications like multiplayer games, this is probably something we would use a library for as well. Seventh, a particle system that would allow us to easily create effects. Eighth, a realistic lighting system that supports multiple lights and shadows. I feel like this is the feature that would breathe the most life into the engine. Ninth, an animation system that would allow us to manipulate models in runtime. I would probably go for a keyframe based system here. I likely still left a lot of things out, but after this, I will make these tasks in my GitHub repository, and if I find anything else, I will add them to the list too. If you know something I missed and definitely need to implement, or if you have any other suggestions about the architecture, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, after that, I will rank these tasks on priority and do these one by one, each with their own respective videos. I am already very excited about this. The most impactful task I will start off is the build system. I think it sets us up for a good start. And yeah, that's it. I scratched up some sort of a plan and will likely need to change it as we go along the way. Nonetheless, if I implemented all of the features, we would have quite a solid game engine that would be actually capable of making games. And who knows, maybe we will actually make a game then. Catch you later.